What's going on, everybody? Eddie Soundhead back once again here with Soundhead Entertainment. We are back in NASCAR Heat 5 for our custom championship mode once again here, getting to Auto Club Speedway to kind of pay respects in a way. I don't know if we knew this when we made the schedule or not, but we certainly do know now that this track is destined for destruction and will soon be a short track, which I guess is a good thing, but I kind of wish they would have picked another track because this track is cool. So let's not hold this up any further. Let's go ahead and get to it. Certainly not a pole lap. Not that I was really expecting it to be one. All right. But it's just, uh, it's just not a good time, but we get ninth. So I guess I can't complain too much. I think we'll be able to drive up nicely with some adjustments. And we'll see who got the pole. Joey Logano, oh, so don't tell that kid from Martinsville. All right, watching the lineup roll towards us here. Ricky Stenhouse Jr. crashed during qualifying. Ricky, what are we doing here, Ricky? And of course, Joey Logano got the pole. We knew that already. And then just to stab me in the heart, Jeremy Bullens unloads a dud, and Brad last guess to change that engine. That sucks. Right, we'll have to bear this right, pain and carry on right, here as we're driving all the way down the racetrack, not even close to the line of the grid or where the draft will be. But nevertheless, thank you, NASCAR Heat. We'll get across the line and start this race. Just underneath Kevin Harvick here, who's driving for the absolutely woeful Stuart Haas racing in this year 2021. Just a disgraceful scene. But and he's already losing ground and we're making ground on the bottom here. Three wide on the first lap, just the way we planned it in the playbook. Bubba Wallace slamming on the brakes in the middle of the straightaway wants no piece of this. He knows better. Those rookie stripes do not lie. And I don't know what in the world Truex just, he just pulled over. I don't think the high side works in this game, dude. Is this your first day being coded in the game? We'll push your teammate up through the field here and try to get by Bowman. He's gonna side draft me though, and I'm losing my draft. My draft just cutting out in front of me. This makes tons of sense. And I'm gonna have to set it in here. This is not gonna go well. I don't want to rear end Kyle Bush. We're gonna drift it up high. A little pull from Dale here. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know why I want to spare Kyle Bush either. It's not like I haven't murdered him millions of times in this game and previous titles. He has been a regular victim and he is Curly being victimized by the bumps. He's bouncing all over the place. Oh, we're going to victimize him too a little bit. Just a slight exchange of pain. It's like a jersey swap, really. It's just a friendly exchange. Side by side. We've been doing this for two laps. It feels like two lifetimes already. And a little quarter panel hit for Hamlin. Is he going to hold on to it in the corner? Is he? I'm not. Somehow we do. And I'm going to get the push here. This might actually work out in my favor here. Come on, Kyle. I'll try to pull out. What is this? I'm going to get that push to Earnhardt, though. This could be exactly what we need. I just don't want him to destroy me. Oh, my God. What is wrong with me? I hit him again. Please save it. Please save it. Please. He's in the wall. And just like that, I think my fate is sealed. I think I will be just surely sent to the Shadow Realm at every possible opportunity. From now on, by Dale, it's over. Where are you guys going? What is this? What is it? This is what is it's not 2013 guys. This doesn't work anymore. I promise you. Oh, it might work actually. Look at them just clowning on me right now. The dunk and the point. Okay, I feel it. I feel the shame. I've been proven wrong. I tried it again though. I don't think it's gonna work the second time though. You buffoons. Imagine being stupid and trying to race on the high side. I'm about wrecking off the straightaway. But imagine trying that in NASCAR heat. It doesn't work, guys. I appreciate the attempt. Now we can focus on trying to FedEx something to Hamlin here. I'm going to try something in this corner here. We have to try something. We're getting the pull. Hamlin's committed to the inside. Oh, the fender to fender. Hamlin has fendered me off. Now I'm going to fend off. Look out. I'll put that bumper in front of him. A slight tap, and he got a nose out on me. Come on, Hamlin, give me that pole. Where's the pole? I can't get clear. Oh, he kept his nose right there. They didn't even take the bottom. Logano, what are you doing? And he packs me in the middle of the corner. Logano just wants to see my demise. That's all this is. Just wants me to fail. And I can see why. I could see why. Guy clear. No, Cowboys is going to do the same thing. Except he had way more reason to. 
Oh yeah, that's that's the kind of rotation I need. Oh yeah. I'm blocking you, Legato. It's over. You and me, we're done professionally. Get out of here. Kyle Bush gonna try it on Logano or on Hamlin. Yes, he does. Holy smokes. Is this a pass for the lead? It is. Hamlin has been conquered. This is great for our point situation if we can get by Hamlin and put up some cars behind us. Get some space in between. Get some points. Oh, Kyle gonna come down late. Gonna get a little bump. And get that push through the corner. He's gonna just take off on me now, I'm sure. Come on, Hamlin, give me the push. Let's go get him. Let's take him out. I might have a chance to take him out. He's going high. I think those tires are wearing off. I don't mind, sure are. And that will put us to the point. We got Hamlin about to get passed by Logano back there, too. That is good. Put more cars between us. Gonna get down on that apron to get that car to get down and turn. I'm just not quite as good at that as I used to be. That's gonna give Kyle a massive run on me down the straightaway, but I don't think he'll have anything he can do. Well, we are coming down to the end of this fuel run. And there are cars pitting, so that means we'll come in a few. All right. Let's see if I can do this. A green flag pit stop. These usually don't go too well for me. Oh. Oh, my God. All right. Just a little bit of mowing the grass there. Oh, easy. We're just going to baby it in there. No problem at all. Could have downshifted again there, but who needs to screw it up even further? All right, pit crew. I'm relying on you here. Don't blow it. I'm going to need you to get some grass out of our grill, but other than that, brought it to you pretty clean. Everybody's doing their job here. I like the matching fire suits that have nothing to do with the paint scheme, but you know what? That is fine. We'll coordinate that at a later date and time. All right, off we go. That was a pretty solid stop, I'd say. And we can make it 22 laps on fuel, so good to know what a fuel run is here. We will definitely have to pit again. And with that, I think we will pretty much have actually completed a green flag pit stop successfully, and Kyle Busch is going to just barely pass us for what will cycle back to be the lead. So this is the battle for first right here off of a green flag pit stop. It does not get any better than that. Shout out to NASCAR Heat for cycling us a good one here. I appreciate it. And shout out to me for babying it into the pit stop and probably losing those few seconds that I had on Kyle Busch. And I'm going to set a pick right here if we get the chance. Thank you, Reagan, for just being a bum and in the way. It is much appreciated. Now he gets out of the way. Oh, speaking of bums. CMR in 39th. I, I I feel for you, brother. We might have to turn CMR stats up. He is replacing a very bad car, if I do remember. Got Eric Jones kind of sucking it up. He's going to be a pick once again for Kyle Busch. And we're going to get by. All right. That puts us back in the lead. We'll lead another lap. And we'll keep it on trucking. Outside. Clear high, bud. Oh! Oh, 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 my God, he's dead. Oh, no, that was vicious. Well, I have never in my life seen something so brutal just unfold right in front of our very eyes. In lieu of flowers, just send GNC muscle powder to the home of Matt De Benedetto because it is all over. No more burritos for that guy. And he'll probably come past me in a little bit knowing NASCAR heat because this this just this is just how things go in this realm. We've taken off though. Oh Blaney. Blaney might be coming for that ass. He didn't get it at mid-Ohio. The caution came out. He got the blues. He's not gonna get any this time though. He's not gonna get held up by a soul. He's taking off. I missed the corner exit entirely. He's going to lead the lap even. You dastardly mustache mullet wearing man. And speaking of mustache, 
wearing men. Behind me is one that's about ready to put me 80 rows deep in the grandstand. So, Blaney, we got to go. And he's gone. I think they can smell blood in the water behind me. And Brad Keselowski, after starting in the back and almost getting killed by me, he's coming to take second place from me after having to replace an engine. He has just ran the table to get up to the front of the pack. That is impressive. And then I almost ended every ounce of his existence. Reduced to Adams. Oh, the caution. Well, that solves our pit dilemma there. We can do this under caution. So took enough gas to go to the end, plus a little extra. And I only took two tires and I gained spots. So I'm really hoping the field didn't take four tires. And I didn't, because I'm going to feel like a real doofus. Right. And quite the ass clown, if that ends up being the case. This jump I'm getting is a bit... Well, and then I went and absolutely blew the corner. But I was going to say that jump I'm getting was a little bit confidence building. And now Blaney is right back on my ass. So I'm going to block this move. Oh, Blaney, I'm sorry, buddy. We got to go a little lower than that. He's going to go around. We took Blaney out. Back it down. Oh, and then we slam Brad. I should be tried and executed for that. It is only fair. Well, driver. public enemy number one oh, here, okay. starting at the front of the field with my uh, Lord and Savior, Brad Keselowski, on the outside. Uh, yeah, that is, uh, that is not exactly how I drew that one up. We did send Blaney to the Shadow Realm. He is currently roaming the nether as we speak. And again, he'll probably pass us in a little bit knowing how this usually works. So now I'm going to try to fend off my boy here. Uh, and I don't think that's going to be easy. And I hope these two tires last me because I don't think they will. And they already are kind of failing me. And there goes Brad. You know what else is failing me? My lack of talent and ability to make it to the bottom of the race track. Outside, outside. Let's not kid anybody here. And this draft push I'm getting from Chuix might be our real savior here. Hold on. Oh, and more. Oh, I'm getting a mad 200 miles an hour into the first corner. Down on the apron. This is going to go poorly. Oh, Brad, I'm sorry. Oh, we're going to put him in the wall. And Hamlet's going to put us there too. But you are not helping. But we are still alive at the sacrifice of Brad Keselowski. He falls back a few spots. We slam to the back of Kyle Bush. He just stopped in front of me for no reason. And now we're going to turn him around as well. Please don't spill the M&M's, Kyle. Please save it. And a shot from Christopher Bell here. I think JGR is a little pissed at me. Oh, here comes the shot from Brad Keselowski that we very much deserve. But I think this is going to end up being helpful if he doesn't wreck us. I'm taking it all the way to the apron. Oh, I took it a little too low. That is just a pro gamer move right there. That's how you lose two spots in one quarter. They just send it inside with no challenge whatsoever. All right, fair enough. I've been dunked on. I'm really falling apart here. And you can tell because I'm getting passed by Caleb. It's really gone downhill when I get passed by Caleb. Oh, come on, Kyle. Come on, Kyle. Come on. Let me have some of my dignity with five laps to go. Oh, and Caleb's gonna hang right there, Caleb. Uh, anybody that hangs on my inside like that is liable to get fought after the race. Maybe that can be a new segment in my videos. I'll just bust out a UFC game at the end of it and we'll settle things the way that they should be settled. See if we can settle this three wide situation. That might be four wide if I don't wreck Caleb. Oh, see ya, buddy. Oh, Hamlin again. Hamlin, you gotta quit making bad situations worse, dude. Get off of me. Don't get on me until I'm ready for you to get on me. And Caleb, get out of here. Hold me up too damn much. Four laps to go. We got to do something here. We're bleeding the spots. Oh, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm bleeding will to live here. Come on, get off of my inside. Just let me clear. Either get clear or let me be clear. Careful. One of these two things need to happen. Okay. Thank you. Everybody relax. Oh, here come more hard charges on the inside. Blaney's back. The revenge of Blaney is going to pass me up here right at the end. No, we cannot lose this top 10. I refuse. And we can't let, we cannot let Denny Hamlin finish ahead of us. We, we got to put cars between us and him. This is not helping. Blaney, Blaney's going to wreck us. Blaney's going to bury me and Elliot in the wall. 
damn you, Blaney, and a caution is out right at the end of this race, and we can't really pit. We're just going to have to take this one on the chin. We have to nail this restart. We cannot blow it on these last two laps. We have to finish in front of Danny Hamlin. We got to get some points here. I know it doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things because we'll end up in the playoffs anyway. But I want the lead and I'm not going to get it by entering the corner like that. What in God's name was this attempt? I could not tell you. Come on, let's get that draft. Let's get in the line. Let's everybody settle down. Deep breaths in and out. Let's not blow the corner here. All right, that's not a great entrance. That's really it. Okay, just shove me out of the way, Chase Elliott. This is fine. Denny's gonna be a good guy. He's gonna help me here. He realizes I'm in a panic. That was a massive push. It's got me on a big old run here. We're gonna get underneath Blaney. Underneath Caleb. Get me to this first corner nice and smooth. Oh, Chase Elliott with the peak of a lifetime. And we're gonna get some run off the corner. No, Chase, get out. Oh, Chase, why? Chase takes it underneath us. Oh, these hero moves are gonna hurt us, Chase. Why do you have to do these things? And that might seal it. And there goes Denny Hamlin on the bottom. No. Caleb, thank you, but it's not gonna be enough. Right in the last corner, we lose out to Denny Hamlin. Ah! Agony. Actual physical pain. Speaking of actual physical pain, how about Matt De Benedetto getting his soul forcibly removed from his body? And then just parking it in front of the field as they come along. He gets nailed by Starcom and Truex just loses it. Well, if you were Jocko Flacco in my race car, this is what you would have seen. And that is just brutal. Get the safety trucks over there. Stat. Not really anything important going on in this scene other than it looks absolutely badass. Getting a show from Dale Earnhardt into the corner and racing with just a bunch of NASCAR stop starts. Doesn't get any better. And we absolutely just commit a, a heinous crime and we remove Blaney from contention of the win. From an onboard shot, you can see that we are indeed guilty of said heinous act. We have Truex here maybe also committing a heinous act by pushing us at 200 miles an hour into Brad Keselowski into the first quarter. But uh, I think that one can mostly be blamed on us as we did indeed slam him to the wall. Then we have the turning of Kyle Busch into the corner. He did end up saving that car. Then we have an incident with Ryan Blaney. He gives us a nice meaty shove into the corner and that takes us up into Mr. MPD. Dignation, avert your eyes again. And then from on board here, just ruthless aggression into the corner and the real victim ends up being Chase. And that will wrap up the replays here. Now we'll get to the race results. We come home where we qualified in ninth. And can you believe it? Look at the top of the leaderboard. We got Brad Keselowski going from the back of the pack, getting a dud off the truck. And he takes it all the way to victory lane, followed by Dale Earnhardt. What a maneuver to get that thing all the way up there. That is legend stuff. And Ricky Stenhouse Jr. finishes last in the backup. What a tragedy. And that will take us to the point standings where Denny Hamlin will, of course, extend his points lead on us again. He leads us by 32. And he is just pissing me off at this point. But you know what? We got to be better. We got to be better. That's all there is to it. We got to just be better. We got a bunch of bushes behind us too, which is a little scary, a little weird. Well, I never really look at these things, but Blaney had the fastest lap here. We gotta, we gotta shout out to him. Shout out to us. We're getting 22 laps led in, still choking the race as we do. And then this just needs to be celebrated till the end of time. Brad Keselowski started 39th, won the friggin' race, and Kurt Busch just, he crumbled, he fell apart. And we're back at the shop now with our result. And now we'll have to go to our weekly team meeting before we head to Dover, where our team manager will beat us within an inch of our life for once again, making a complete fool of the team in the public eye. 
But that's kind of what we do here. So uh, I expect to do more of that here soon at Dover. So make sure you stay tuned for that, ladies and gentlemen. And thank you so much for watching this one because we will pretty much wrap it up right here. Thank you all as always for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you know what to do. Hit that like button and subscribe. As always, that stuff helps me out a ton. Get down in the comments below. Let me know what else you want to see. And with that, I will see you in the next one. Peace.